Sarah Jacobson and Marketing Art Flea. So today we're going to talk about a really cool plugin that is great for making affiliate links all throughout your site and then also for linking your main content for internal linking for Google. And I have kind of fought this kind of plugin before because there are some really skeevy, free, like, oh, link everything affiliate plugins that I didn't really like they weren't being done to help your viewers they were done being done to like really try to cram as many affiliate links as you could into your blog posts and I was really looking for something that could help me do my affiliate links but not necessarily totally creep out my entire site so I found this tasty links it is done by um, the folks over at Food Blogger Pro, and the funny thing is they, um, they have handcrafted WordPress plugins for food blogs, but they, um, they of course, like they have a recipe one that's only for food blogs, but the other two I use, Tasty Links and Tasty Pins, work on any website. So you don't have to have a food blog for this one. All right, so what do you do with this? So the very first thing you do, you download, you pay, you download the plugin, and then you can add as many affiliate links as you want. So this is a basal affiliate link. It goes to my affiliate URL with Rocky Mountain Oils. I'm an affiliate for them. And then on this link, there are some choices you want to make. So do you want to add relationship no follow? Anytime you're doing a paid promotion where you would get either a free product or you get a paid promotion, according to Google, you're supposed to disclose that relationship. So yes, I want to add a nofollow link. It does it automatically. Do I want to open it up in a new window? Yes, I do want to open it up in a new window because I didn't go to all the trouble of getting somebody to my website to have them just fluff off. And I'll show you how that works. So if they click on one of my affiliate links, it goes to Rocky Mountain Oils, right? Sorry about that. I had a little frog in my throat. So that works really super well. And then the last thing that you can choose is, do you want to append a disclosure? And append a disclosure means that after every instance of a link, do you want it to say something like hashtag ad or promo or advertisement? Um, you wouldn't do all of them. You would only pick one. And that way, after every single link, it would have that little baby disclosure. What I do is I have a disclosure for my post. So some links in this post are affiliate links. Um, I do it for every one of my posts that has affiliate links in it. And then also in my policies and disclosures. Now, I am not a lawyer. This is the FTC disclosure information. So if you have any questions about that, make sure to look it up. But this worked out amazing. Every time I put in all my, like this is a two word affiliate link, this German chamomile. Every time it has it, I put it in, and that way I was able to link all of those in one place. So that's awesome. Now, the other thing that this can do is I feel like equally amazing. So I have cornerstone content. I want, anytime I talk about on this site, cats, it to link to this cats blog post for two reasons. Number one, I want it to be cornerstone content that... Um, People call it hero content, skyscraper posts. What happens is I want Google to recognize that I'm saying this is an important piece of content on my website. And so when I do the links for this one, if you go to my tasty links and you go to cats, I didn't say add a no follow. I want Google to follow every one of the times it says cats on my website back to that post. And then I do not want it to look in a new window because I'm leaving them on my po on my site and having people go to different posts on your site will help your bounce rate, right? Everything's good. And then um, I'm going to say append disclosure. No, because maybe someday I will put a disclosure on there. Um, and then you just click, click update. Now, there is one little problem with this as far as the cornerstone content goes, right? So say I have a really great ADH for kids um, essential oils post, and I want any time I'm talking about ADHD, um, 
it to link, but I don't want it to happen in every one of the instances in this blog post. This is the one I want it to be linking to. What it does is it just goes back to that same blog post and it'll confuse people, right? Well, luckily you can just override it. So all you have to do is you do this tasty links ignore at the front. You ready? We gotta find our ADHD. Here we go, right there. All right. So we wanna say ignore it. And then it doesn't look very much different, but it has the end tag. So if you just copy that same one at the front and the back, um, you will wind up deleting all your tasty links in your whole post and ask me how I know that. Well, I did it and I was like, why are my tasty links gone? Well, I had used the same one. Um, so there's two different ones. Now, if you come down here, I've eliminated that ADHD uh, link and I'll go through and do that for this whole blog post, right? I don't want this blog post to link to itself. And then the other thing was I did notice, so we wanna to go to all my tasty links. I did notice that it was popping up a new window. I don't wanna do that. And then you just update it. So making all these changes is amazing. Why does this matter? Why does making changes so easily matter? Well, especially with the affiliates, you may not make too many changes on your own blog, or you may have a new piece of Cornerstone content that you wanna promote with that keyword, which would be great to make that change all at once. But especially as an affiliate, I have had two different things happen. Number one, I've had my affiliate program shut down completely, um, which you're like, um, but what about all my links for Pinterest marketing courses or whatever? Um, and so to be able to change all those in one fell swoop when you got another affiliate program or to delete them all right away um, so you don't have to keep going through your website all the time would be amazing. And the other thing that has also happened to me is the affiliate program, the, the product I was promoting stayed active, but they changed affiliate programs. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. You're changing from this to share a sale or commission junction to whatever. And I'm like, do you understand how much time that's gonna take me to change that? Well, the cool thing with using Tasty Links is you could change that all at once and it would be no big deal. So hopefully that helps. I'll put links to both Tasty Links and Tasty Pins, which I adore, which is a Pinterest plugin. Um, if you wanna hear about that, leave a comment and I'll show you how that one works. It's pretty snazzy too. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to click the thumbs up. And if you want to get lots of videos like this, make sure to click the subscribe. And I am putting an affiliate link for Tasty Links underneath. I do believe in uh, supporting affiliates, so if you feel like this video helped you make that decision, I'd appreciate it if you use my link. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.